In this video, I'm going to show you where to find all the Skaru Tree fragments that you can before the first story boss in the Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. Now, the first fragment I'm going to show you is where you should probably have found your first one as well, right over here at the Three Path Cross Site of Grace. So at this location right here on the map, as you can see here, there is a Mikolas Cross at this location too. You'll find the Skaru Tree fragment right next to the cross over here. And then, of course, you can go ahead and at any point of time rest at a Site of Grace and you'll see there is a Shadow Realm Blessing option where you can go ahead and spend these these uh, fragments to upgrade your character within the DLC. The second location is going to be at the Church of Consolation at the bottom right section of this area. So if you make your way down here, which you just follow the road to, there is an enemy inside there waiting for you. Oh, so nice. You just got to go beat him and his little ass hammer. When you beat him, you will get the Black Steel Great Hammer as well. After defeating the enemy, you will see there is an item over here just in front of the statue, and this is going to be your Skaru Tree Fragment, the second one. The next location is just across the Elec Bridge. So the Great Bridge over here. If you go across the bridge, you'll see there's a site of grace, but we're actually going to go to this location right over here at the corner between these two roads. And you'll see here there is a statue without a head that has a item at the foot of it. And if you go ahead and pick this up, this is a Skadu tree fragment. The next location is just going to be down the road from the previous one. So if we go ahead and make our way to the Pillar Path Cross Site of Grace, you'll see there's also a Mikola's Cross at this location too. You can get to this location after crossing the bridge and just following the road as it goes like this. And then you just take the little detour down here and, and make your way to the spot. It's super simple. Once you're here, there is a Site of Grace as well as the Skadu Tree Fragment on the floor and an NPC you can go ahead and chat to. For the next location, we're going to Castle Enzis, which is right over here. So you're going to make your way to the Site of Grace because that's where the Mikolas Cross is located. Now, when you go across this little bridge here and you fight the big giant over here, you're basically going to follow the pathway up here. It kind of goes like this and then through like this weird thing like this into an area like here. If you just go where I just aimed on the map, it should lead you directly to the Site of Grace. It's not too complicated, but once you are at the Site of Grace, you'll see here there is a purple item that you can pick up here that is a Skaru Tree Fragment, and there is another one on the other side too that is a Castle Cross Message, which is a different thing. The next location is at a Site of Grace that's going to be located right over here on the map, the Main Gate Cross. Now, to get here, you just got to make your way to the Three Path Cross and just head through the pathway to the west, and you just kind of just follow the pathway. It will lead you right here. And you'll see here the Skadu Tree Fragment is on the floor next to the, you know, Mikolas Cross, and there's also some NPCs that you can go ahead and talk to. For the next location, we're going to head to the Site of Grace called the Cliff Road Terminus. Now, from the previous one, you just actually have to kind of be in this tunnel and take a path that goes to the south here. You can't really miss it. You just be in between these two Sites of Grace and you just head down. Once you find the Site of Grace, we're actually going to go ahead and walk up here to around this location somewhere here. You'll see if you follow the main road like this, there will be like a grave site over here. And we're looking for a very specific enemy that has a shining pot. As you can see him in the distance over there, the shining little pot. We're just going to watch out just smack all of them down like that. After you defeat this NPC, you'll see he will drop a Skaru tier fragment as well as a silver horn tender. The final one we can get before the boss is going to be the Belu Rat Tower Settlement Site of Grace over here. This is going to require that you actually enter the Tower Settlement. So if you go ahead and you just go through this door and you progress up here, you will make your way to the Site of Grace that has this closed door. Don't worry about this door being closed right now. You shall then progress to the right up until you reach the next Site of Grace, the small private altar. From this Site of Grace, you're going to go through the doorway to the northwest and you're going to head out here. There will be an enemy you will have to defeat here. Nothing too crazy. Up the stairs, you're going to immediately take a right a little sneaky right over here through this little location you're going to go here and you're going to go ahead and run to the left there is a little enemy who's trying to cheap shot you you're going to go left over here dodge the people and you'll go through this doorway on the right hand side here and then you'll go up the ladder hopefully before anybody hits you we're going to head out this door and we're going to go we're going to head out this door we're going to go up the stairs and we're going to go to the left over here just like this. And you'll see there is a very sneaky little entrance to the right hand side over here. Don't go into that big room just yet. You're going to go ahead and you're going to jump across these different things here. And you'll see there is a sneaky little entrance pathway here. And through this pathway, you'll see this will lead to a hallway that goes down to Mikola's Cross over here. And this is where you will find the Lost Skaru Tree Fragment that you can get in this area. Don't forget to upgrade your character at the Site of Grace to get all of these blessings. And thank you guys so much for watching this video.